Hi everyone, it's Linnea for Kindred Stamps, and I hope you are so excited about the new limited edition box. So as always, these products are only going to be able to be found in this box, so make sure that you hurry and get your box before it sells out. So let's take a look at the contents. First, there is this cloud washi tape, and then there's this sequin mix and there's the purple and the greens super super pretty sequins as always there's this glitter gloss and it's called alien it's this green gel I'm trying to show you the glitter that's in there you can't really see it now but I'm going to make a card with this product and you'll be able to see just how much glitter is packed into there there's this little toy man, and when I first opened my box, I had to chase down my son to get it back because, of course, he grabbed the toy and loved it. There's a sheet of stickers, which is awesome. It really helped me in determining my color choices when I was coloring the stamps, and it's also super helpful if you want to make a quick card and you don't have time to color images, you can easily use the stickers, which is awesome. I love that Kindred Stamps has coordinating stickers for a lot of the stamp sets that have been coming out. There's a pack of papers and they are double-sided and they are super cute. I love these patterns. That paisley pattern is gorgeous. And then there's those clouds on the background. Those little planets, super cute. This one is my favorite. It has the cow spots on it. I love cows and I super love the black and white cow spots. So I will be hoarding that paper. <laughs> Just kidding. I used one sheet of it for a card in today's video. There is this super cute little planet stencil, a white jelly roll pen, and then the star of the box, this stamp set. It's a four by eight stamp set with all of our favorite characters. This is called Toy Box, and it is a super cute stamp set. And that is all that is in the box. So once again, remember, these products are only going to be able to be found in this box. You're not going to be able to buy the stamp set or the papers or, you know, the stencils separately, only in the box. So make sure you head over to the Kindred Stamps website and snatch yours up before they are gone. So let's start making some cards. In this video, I'm going to end up making five cards and I'm going to use almost all of the characters except for the little dog. In the beginning, I only intended to make this one card that we're gonna make here with the stencil. And as I started making it, I had an idea for a second card and then a third and then a fourth and then a fifth. So I decided to keep playing and keep going and I ended up with five cards and I have ideas for so many more, but I didn't want this video to be too super long. So let's get started here. I used some pixie spray on the back of the planet's stencil and then I have a piece of heavyweight 110 pound cardstock that I adhered that to. This is that glitter gloss gel and I guess it's less a gel and more a paste. It is super textured and super gritty from all that glitter that is packed into here. It has texture like no other product I have seen before. So as I remove this here, I'm going to try to show you all of this sparkle. And I think in the end, when I show you the final product is when you're really going to be able to see all that glitter because in this video just doesn't do it justice. Trust me, you need to buy this box and get this glitter gloss. So like I said, as I was creating that first background, I had an idea for just to use the stencil with inks. So I quickly washed off my stencil and I didn't even need to respray the back of it with more spray. It had enough stick to it that I could just stick it onto another piece of paper and just keep going. So I'm using some distress inks. I have mowed lawn and then twisted citron. And I thought that maybe I would put some mustard seed at the top. But in the end, I ended up taking the, um, the Twisted Citron all the way up to the top. That mowed lawn became my mid-tone, and then I added some Lucky Clover at the bottom. So I have this nice gradient of green colors for my background. Um, so like I said, I just kind of, I had all these ideas. So as I started stamping out my images, I stamped a bunch. And like you see, I stamped six of these little aliens because this is my favorite character from the stamp set. This little guy is my favorite. I love him so much. So I stamped six so that I could quickly add some color 
and I thought that I would have extras. In the end, I don't really have that many extra because I ended up using them. And I stamped all the other characters and colored them at the same time. But at this point in filming my video, it was getting close to two o'clock in the morning and the shadows were crazy ridiculous. And honestly, my coloring wasn't that great because it's two in the morning and you, I should have been in bed, but I just couldn't stop coloring. So I did edit out most of the coloring for this. You're gonna see me color this little alien here and I will leave in the whole coloring for him because I felt like this one had good enough lighting. But I actually like stamped this, colored it, and then I moved on to doing other backgrounds. And then as I was doing other backgrounds, I came back to stamping and coloring. So my coloring, as you know, is always super simple. Most of these are just two color blends, a dark and a medium, or even a medium and a light so that I could have different colors of the same or different blends within the same color family. I use my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers as I always do. And I just colored this little alien as well as the rest of the images very simply. And then I took the sheet over to my scan and cut machine and just cut them all out at once. And then I would have a whole bunch of little characters. So let's keep going and make some more backgrounds because like I said, I had planned to stop with just the two alien cards. And as I was looking at the stamp set, I was inspired to make another one and then it, to make eventually all five. So I grabbed the little sheriff's star I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock because I wanted a bright white cardstock, but I also wanted to be able to add some water. And I feel like the Bristol can take just a little bit of water. It can't take a lot in my opinion, but it can take a little bit. So I grabbed that Sheriff's Star stamp and I'm using some Versamark ink and some gold embossing powder. And since it's a clear ink on white paper, you can't really see it. So that's why you'll see me like stamp three or four stars shake on some of that embossing powder, and then keep stamping. My plan originally was to fill this whole background with the star, but as I was stamping, I just, it, I just happened to stamp from like a cascading effect from that right down to the left. And once I got to here, I really liked what I had. So I stopped, which is really hard for me to stop. Most of the time I would just keep on going. But I stopped and I grabbed my Gonzi Tombe Starry Watercolors pan set. And I'm going to be using the yellow gold just to color in these stars. I add a little water and I think I'm using a number two round watercolor brush. That's my preferred watercolor brush. That's what I usually use. And I'm just going to color all of those in. I also added some gold spatters to the background. So as I was waiting for that one to dry, I was inspired to make another card. So I have some of the wide purple tape here, and I'm just going to mask off a piece of cardstock so that I have a diagonal strip in the middle. I have the infinity symbol, and I'm going to be doing some stamping. And at first I couldn't decide what colors I wanted to use, and I decided to go with Wilted Violet and Faded Jeans Distress Oxide Ink. So I'm just gonna start by filling in this diagonal stripe that I have masked off, going in with the wilted violet, and I'm gonna stamp a couple of those infinity symbols. I'll clean off my stamp, and then I will come back in with the faded jeans. I like the faded jeans because it's definitely a blue, but I, in my mind, I feel like it's a purpley blue, especially when you pair it with other purple colors. So I added both these colors in. I'm just gonna keep filling in. And then once I'm done, I wanted to add some, some more color. I, I thought that there were some open areas that I couldn't fit another symbol into, and I wanted to kind of fill it in a little bit. So I used some typing paper and masked off my edges of my white cardstock and just flicked on some black watercolor spatters. So here are all of the images that I colored. And you can see I always stamp at least doubles of my images just so that I have extras if I need them. And then I just keep the extras in a little dish on my desk in the corner so that as I am 
creating my cards, I can just grab the little characters and fix them up with my backgrounds. So speaking of backgrounds, they are all dry. This is actually the next day now. So I've come back and I'm just gonna start fixing all of these and making them into actual cards. So I cut out a circle stitched frame as well as two pieces of heat resistant acetate. And I'm going to make this first one a shaker card. So I've taken my sentiment that says, you've been chosen to celebrate. I've arranged that where I want it on my acetate circle. And then I'm just gonna use some Versamark ink to stamp this and I'll use some white embossing powder to heat emboss this. In the end, the, I need to remember that when I'm stamping with a squishy ink like Versamark onto a slick paper like this acetate, not to push so hard. I have a really bad habit of really pushing down on my Misty when I'm stamping. So my embossing kind of got muddled together, but I think it's okay. I think you can still definitely tell what the sentiment says. I created my little shaker pouch like you normally would with some foam tape going around the outside, filled it up with the shaker mix included in the box, and then I put a second piece of acetate on the back. This is just because I find it's easiest to adhere shakers to the card rather than lay my shaker down and try to arrange it upside down on my card, if that makes sense. I just think it's easier for me to look at it straight on. So I'm just using some liquid glue. This is iCraft Ultra Bond Adhesive from ThermoWeb. This stuff will stick to anything. So I've put it on the back of my little green aliens, and then I'm just gonna put something heavy like an acrylic block on it and let that dry while I move on to another background. This is the glitter gel background, and I decided to use the little green alien again but I thought it was too simple just to stick him on the front here. You definitely could, but I wanted there to be a little bit more interest. So I'm using a mini action wobbler, and I have a bunch of these in my craft room. And this is only, I think, the second time I've ever used one, and I'm kind of obsessed with how it turned out. So I just put that onto the back of his head, and instead of just adhering it straight onto my card, I used a little bit more of that Ultra Bond adhesive so that I could be sure that it would stick to that glitter gel. That is really textured and really glittery and I wanted to make sure that wasn't going to move anywhere. So again, I put something heavy on top of that and set it aside. We're gonna work on our third background now with the infinity symbol. I wanted there to be a definite edge to our stamping. So I added thin strips of black cardstock. I stamped a sentiment on matching that diagonal of the stamping and added my little, um, my little character there. This is my favorite card I think that I've made today. I love how the gold stars look with the gold watercoloring. And I think the two characters just go so well together with the browns. I just love it. So I decided to take the sentiment, you're my favorite deputy, and gold heat emboss that so that it'll match the gold embossing on the stars. Popped up my little characters with foam squares and that one is done. So I think this is the last one. As I was creating my cards, I realized that I hadn't used any of the pattern paper, and I do honestly have a really bad habit of just hoarding pattern paper, especially, like I said, this is my favorite. I love the cow spots. So I decided to be brave and go ahead and cut it up and use it. So I die cut a Cloudy Frames die, and I'm just going to add a sentiment to the bottom and stick my characters on with some foam squares. So I'm gonna give you a quick peek at all five cards that I made today. And just as a reminder, if you're looking for still photos and more information, you can head over to my blog. And don't forget that you can only get these products in this limited edition box. So please make sure if you love this box as much as I do, that you head over to the Kindred Stamps website and pick it up for yourself. So I hope you saw it on that card and you can see it now. Look at all that glitter. It's super awesome. I love these little characters. And the stamp set is an oversized stamp set. It's great for making backgrounds. Lots of stuff packed into this limited edition box. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you love this video and I will catch you next time. Bye.